I'm Christine Lilly, and this is my story. I didn't start taking soccer seriously probably until I would say around 18. I had made the national team when I was 16, but I still didn't know what that was all about. And then I went to college, and then we finally had a Women's World Cup. I started to think, I'm like, okay, this is getting to be something bigger than I ever thought it was going to be. When I made the team in 87, we would play games in the States and we'd maybe have 100 people. But in China, who hosted the first Women's World Cup, pretty much stadiums were packed. For the final, I think we had 64,000 people. We won, so we were ecstatic at that. And we just wanted people to appreciate that more than anything. We come back to the United States and there was probably like two reporters there. And the fact that when we came home, people didn't know about it, we're like, oh, Because we just wanted them to share and how much fun we had and how exciting it was. I've been with the US team for over 19 years. I'm the only player from the first World Cup team. Yeah, I never really thought about that. But yeah, you know, <laughs> why am I still here? Who knows? Up top are jerseys, which represent um, competing for my country, and I have the record, world record in that, over 300 games. So I'm the eldest on the team, and they like to call me grandma every once in a while. <laughs> Because when they're doing it, it's either I just did something really good and they're like saying, how do you do that when you're grandma? Or it's like when I'm reminded that my body's aching that, you know, they're letting me know that you are old, it should hurt. But I think, you know, when you think of your grandma, or you think of someone that's been through time and has experiences that you never imagined and could help. And hopefully the players are thinking that too. <laughs> I hope that's what they're saying partly too when they say that. <laughs> this is a stage in my career I've never really experienced before or felt like, okay, you know what, maybe I should sit this one out and feel good about it and know that my teammates think I'm not being a wuss, but I'm take, being smart. And the soccer field, because that was pretty much my canvas, unlike drawing, I do better here than not here. I think I solved problems when I was younger by just working harder, and now I'm solving situations, you know, with my head a little bit more than with my body. and. You know, leading the team, giving them some confidence and a belief that, you know, we can achieve this goal, but we have to do it collectively. Figure out, you know what, that's not a good time to run or let's keep the ball, you know, play it back, play simpler instead of trying to force it and go. And I think, you know, the game teaches you that. Experience is something that, you know, is by far the best teacher. And, I mean, 19 years, you think I've learned something. If I didn't, I'm in trouble. I tell young kids, if you always believe in yourself and others, well, I think you'll get somewhere. When I talk to young kids now about playing sports or soccer mainly, but I'm like, it gives you another avenue to start living your life and learning. It breaks down some of the barriers that you may have or that you may feel. And um, I mean, soccer does it for me, but any sport could do it for anyone. And it's just putting yourself out there. But it takes courage to do that first. But once you do that, everything starts to change. And then you start to feel good about yourself, more confident, and that you can pretty much do anything. <laughs>